Removing and Replacing Parts HP Elite C640 G3 Chromebook How to Replace the Base Enclosure Removal Remove the six P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Note, the screws on the bottom edge are shorter than the screws on the top edge of the Chromebook. Using a flat bladed tool, carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the clips on the top cover. Remove the base enclosure. Replacement Align the base enclosure with the edges of the top cover and lower it into position. Apply pressure along the edges to reattach the base enclosure to the clips on the top cover. Replace the six P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. How to replace the battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Warning, to avoid personal injury and damage to the product, use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Removal. Disconnect the battery cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the five P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Lift the battery off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the battery onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the five P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Connect the battery cable to the connector on the system board. How to replace the speakers. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Disconnect the left speaker cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left speaker to the top cover. Lift the left speaker up and remove. The right speaker is removed in the same manner. Replacement. Place the left speaker onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left speaker to the top cover. Connect the left speaker cable to the connector on the system board. The right speaker is replaced in the same manner. How to replace the touchpad. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Peel back the black mylar that covers the connectors on the bottom edge of the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the plastic mylar that secures the touchpad ribbon cable to the touchpad. Lift the locking bar up on the touchpad ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad ribbon cable from the touchpad. Remove the touchpad ribbon cable from the adhesive that secures it to the touchpad and top cover. Remove the touchpad ribbon cable. Peel back the fabric adhesive that secures the touchpad to the top cover. 
pull back the black mylar that partially shields the touchpad. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Lift the touchpad off of the alignment pins and guide it out from under the bracket on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Slide the touchpad under the bracket on the top cover and place it into the cutout on the top cover. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Smooth over the black mylar tape that partially shields the top cover. Smooth over the fabric adhesive that secures the touchpad to the top cover. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the touchpad and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down. Press down to adhere the touchpad ribbon cable to the touchpad and top cover. Smooth over the black mylar that covers the connectors on the bottom edge of the system board. Replace the plastic mylar that secures the touchpad ribbon cable to the touchpad. How to replace the system fan. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Disconnect the system fan cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system fan to the system board. Lift the system fan up and remove. Replacement. Place the system fan into position over the screw wells on the system board and top cover. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system fan to the system board. Connect the system fan cable to the connector on the system board. How to replace the heat sink. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. In the numerical order indicated, remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease located between the heat sink and processor components, it may be necessary to wiggle the heat sink slightly from side to side to detach it from the system board. Lift the heat sink off of the system board and remove. Replacement. Note, before replacing the heat sink, the thermal grease should be replaced. The thermal grease should be replaced every time the heat sink is removed. Use alcohol and a soft cloth or an alcohol swab to clean all thermal grease off the heatsink and processor components. Use the thermal grease applicator to apply thermal grease to the processor components. Place the heat sink into position over the screw wells on the system board. In the numerical order indicated, replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. How to replace the USB board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Peel back the plastic adhesive that covers the USB board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bars up on the three USB board ribbon cables and disconnect them from the USB board.
Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board bracket to the USB board. Lift the USB board bracket off of the alignment pins and remove. Disconnect the right speaker cable from the connector on the USB board. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the top cover. Lift the right edge of the USB board and guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover and remove. Replacement Carefully tow the external connectors on the USB board into the cutouts in the top cover and lower it into position. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the top cover. Connect the right speaker cable to the connector on the USB board. Place the USB board bracket onto the alignment pins on the USB board. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board bracket to the USB board. Insert the three USB board ribbon cables into the ZIF connectors on the USB board and press the locking bars down to lock the cables into place. Smooth over the plastic adhesive that covers the USB board. How to replace the system board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, system fan, and heat sink. Removal. Remove the fabric adhesive that covers the integrated wireless LAN module. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module bracket to the integrated wireless LAN module. Lift the wireless LAN module bracket off of the alignment pin and remove. Caution! Use care when disconnecting the wireless LAN antenna cables from the integrated wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade the Chromebook's performance. Disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the integrated wireless LAN module on the system board by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Peel back the mylar tape that covers the connectors on the system board. Disconnect the following cables from their connectors on the system board. Touchpad ribbon cable. Keyboard ribbon cable. Left speaker cable. Display panel cable. Webcam cable. Peel back the transparent tape that covers the three USB board ribbon cables. Using minimal force, lift the locking bars up on the three USB board ribbon cables and disconnect them from the connectors on the USB board. Remove the three USB board ribbon cables from the adhesives that secure them to the top cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the I.O. bracket to the system board. Lift the I.O. bracket off the alignment pins on the system board and remove. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Lift the left edge of the system board and guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover. Turn the system board around. Peel back the black mylar tape that covers the three USB board ribbon cable connectors. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bars up and disconnect the three USB board ribbon cables from the connectors on the system board, setting them aside for later replacement. Remove the system board. Replacement
Insert the three USB board ribbon cables into the connectors on the system board and press the locking bars down to lock the cables into place. Smooth over the black mylar tape that covers the three USB board ribbon cables. Turn the system board around and carefully tow the external connectors on the system board into the cutouts in the top cover. Lower the system board into position on the top cover. Caution! Take care not to trap any of the cables between the system board and top cover. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Place the I.O. bracket onto the alignment pins on the system board. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the I.O. bracket to the system board. Insert the three USB board ribbon cables into the connectors on the USB board and press the locking bars down to lock the cables into place. Press down on the three USB board ribbon cables to adhere them to the top cover. Smooth over the transparent tape that covers the three USB board ribbon cables. Connect the following cables to their connectors on the system board. Touchpad ribbon cable. Keyboard ribbon cable. Left speaker cable. Display panel cable. Webcam cable. Smooth over the Mylar tape that covers the connectors on the system board. Caution! Use care when connecting the wireless LAN antenna cables to the integrated wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade the Chromebook's performance. Carefully connect the wireless LAN antenna cables to the integrated wireless LAN module on the system board. Place the wireless LAN module bracket into position on the integrated wireless LAN module. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module bracket to the system board. Replace the fabric adhesive that covers the wireless LAN module. Important! After a system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the Chromebook, updating DMI and other settings. How to replace the display panel assembly top cover with keyboard. Before you begin, Remove the base enclosure, battery, and heatsink. Removal. Note. Make careful note of the routing of the webcam cable, display panel cable, and wireless LAN antenna cables for later replacement. Remove the fabric adhesive that covers the integrated wireless LAN module. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module bracket to the integrated wireless LAN module. Lift the wireless LAN module bracket off of the alignment pin and set it aside for later replacement. Caution! Use care when disconnecting the wireless LAN antenna cables from the integrated wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade the Chromebook's performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the integrated wireless LAN module on the system board by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Peel back the mylar tape that covers the display panel cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up and disconnect the display panel cable from the connector on the system board. 
Disconnect the webcam cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Lift the metal bracket off of the alignment pin on the left hinge and remove. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Lift the metal bracket off of the alignment pin on the right hinge and remove. Open the hinges fully. Remove the wireless LAN antennas, webcam, and display panel cables from the routing channel along the top cover. Slide the top cover out from underneath the hinges and remove the display panel assembly. Replacement Note. If you're installing a new top cover with keyboard, you need to remove all the components attached to the old top cover and install them onto the new top cover. Place the display panel assembly down and slide the top cover edges under the display panel assembly hinges and rotate it closed. Route the webcam display panel and wireless LAN antenna cables through their routing channels along the top cover. Close the hinges. Place the metal bracket onto the alignment pin on the right hinge. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Place the metal bracket onto the alignment pin on the left hinge. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Connect the webcam cable to the connector on the system board. Insert the display panel cable into the connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Smooth over the mylar tape that covers the display panel cable. Caution. Use care when connecting the wireless LAN antenna cables to the integrated wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade the Chromebook's performance. Carefully connect the wireless LAN antenna cables to the integrated wireless LAN module on the system board. Place the wireless LAN module bracket into position on the integrated wireless LAN module. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module bracket to the system board. Replace the fabric adhesive that covers the wireless LAN module. How to replace the hinge cover. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, heat sink, and display panel assembly. Removal. Squeeze the hinge cover to disengage the clips from the display bezel. Slide the hinge cover off of the display bezel and hinges and remove. Replacement. Slide the hinge cover into position on the hinges and display bezel. Press down to engage the clips on the hinge cover to the clips on the display bezel. How to replace the display bezel. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, heat sink, display panel assembly, and hinge cover. Removal. Important. Take care when releasing the sides of the display bezel.
It is very thin and can be easily damaged. Using your fingers or a non-metallic flat bladed tool, carefully release the top, sides and bottom edges of the display bezel from the adhesive and retention tabs that secure it to the display enclosure. Remove the display bezel. Replacement. Place the display bezel into position on the display enclosure. Carefully apply pressure to the edges of the display bezel to secure it to the display enclosure. How to replace the display panel. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, heatsink, display panel assembly, hinge cover, and display bezel. Removal. Using tweezers, grasp the end of the right adhesive strip at the bottom of the display panel. Carefully pull the right adhesive strip and wrap it around the tweezers until it's fully removed. Caution. Take care. If the tape is broken, it will be very difficult to remove the display panel. The left adhesive strip is removed in the same manner. Lift the display panel at an angle to access the display panel cable. Peel back the fabric adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the display panel. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up and disconnect the display panel cable from the display panel. Remove the display panel. Replacement Place new strips of stretch release tape on the display enclosure. Note: Refer to the service guide for the position of the tape strips. Position the display panel at an angle over the alignment pins on the display enclosure. Connect the display panel cable to the display panel and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Smooth over the fabric adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the display panel. Carefully place the display panel into position in the display enclosure. Press down gently along the edges of the display panel to attach it to the adhesive strips on the display enclosure. How to replace the hinges. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cover, and display bezel. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless LAN antenna, webcam, and display panel cables through the hinges for later replacement. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the right hinge to the display enclosure. Remove the two P1 Phillips broad head screws that secure the right hinge to the display enclosure. Lift the right hinge off of the alignment pins on the display enclosure and remove. The left hinge is removed in the same manner. Replacement. Place the right hinge into position on the display enclosure. Replace the two P1 Phillips broad head screws that secure the right hinge to the display enclosure. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the right hinge to the display enclosure. The left hinge is replaced in the same manner.
How to Replace the Display Panel Bracket Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cover, and display bezel. Removal Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel bracket to the display enclosure. Release the display panel bracket from the retention clips on the display enclosure and remove. Replacement. Place the display panel bracket onto the retention clips on the display enclosure. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel bracket to the display enclosure. How to replace the webcam. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cover, display bezel, display panel, and display panel bracket. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the webcam ZIF connector. Using a flat bladed tool, gently release the webcam from the adhesive and alignment pins that secure it to the display enclosure. Disconnect the webcam ribbon cable from the ZIF connector on the webcam. Remove the webcam. Replacement. Connect the webcam ribbon cable to the ZIF connector on the webcam. And press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Place the webcam onto the alignment pins on the display enclosure. Gently apply pressure to the webcam to adhere it to the display enclosure. How to replace the display panel cable. Before you begin, Remove the base enclosure, battery, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cover, display bezel, display panel, display panel bracket, and webcam. Removal. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel and adhesive on the display enclosure. Remove the webcam ribbon cable from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Remove the display panel cable. Replacement. Route the display panel cable along the routing channel on the display enclosure. Press down on the display panel cable to adhere it to the display enclosure. Place the webcam ribbon cable into position on the display enclosure and press down to reattach it to the adhesive on the display enclosure. How to replace the wireless LAN antennas. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cover, display bezel, display panel, display panel bracket, webcam, and display panel cable. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless LAN antenna cables for later replacement. Peel back the adhesive that secures the wireless LAN antenna cables to the display enclosure. Remove the wireless LAN antenna cables from the transparent tape along the display enclosure. Carefully peel back the metallic tape that secures the right wireless LAN antenna transceiver to the display enclosure.
Using a non-conductive flat-bladed tool, remove the right wireless LAN antenna transceiver from the display enclosure. The left wireless LAN antenna transceiver is removed in the same manner. Remove the wireless LAN antennas. Replacement Caution! Use care when handling and installing the new antennas. Accidental bending of the antenna elements will detune the antennas and degrade the Chromebook's performance. Place the right wireless LAN antenna transceiver into position and gently apply pressure to adhere it to the display enclosure. Carefully reattach the metallic tape that secures the right wireless LAN antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. The left wireless LAN antenna transceiver is replaced in the same manner. Route the wireless LAN antenna cables through the transparent tape along the display enclosure. Smooth over the adhesive that secures the wireless LAN antenna cables to the display enclosure. How to replace the display enclosure. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cover, display bezel, display panel, hinges, display panel bracket, webcam, display panel cable, and wireless LAN antennas. Removal. Remove the display enclosure. Replacement. Replace the display enclosure. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.